Yo, yo, I'm Drew Gilchrist, and today I wanted to make a video on how to roll the perfect joint. Now, you might be thinking, Drew, didn't you already make this video, like, sort of this time last year? And yes, you would be right. I did make this video around this time last year. And so the thing is, about a month, two months after I made that video, I actually started to change the way that I roll. And I honestly way prefer the new way that I roll. And I get messages about it all the time. Like, Drew, how do you roll a joint like you do? How do you get your ash looking the way you do? How does it come out looking like that? So today, I'm going to tell you guys how you can roll a joint that looks like mine. I'm sure if you see my Instagram stories or you see in videos or you see the live streams, you've probably seen how my joints come out and you've probably wondered how the fuck I do it. So that's what we're doing today. I think we're going to move location in just a second and then we will start everything off. Quickly before we get into this video though, need to have a message from our sponsor of the day, which is actually me. I'm taking up the sponsor slot today. People, I just wanted to tell you guys that the Discord is popping right now. If you ever need somewhere to chat with people about all things to do with Bud, definitely, definitely join the Discord. The link for that will be in the pinned comment down below. And also if you haven't followed me on Twitch, I'll leave the link for that down there as well because the Twitch streams are absolutely popping. Uh, we stream every night at 9 p.m. and it is always an amazing time. So yeah, definitely, definitely check that out. And people as well, while I'm here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I release videos like every other day, sometimes daily. So if you like my content, definitely, definitely hit the subscribe button. Right, let's move. Let's go over to this chair and then we'll do everything from a different view. Oh yeah, the one thing I forgot to mention while making this video is that rolling these joints in the style of which I do makes them smoke for 45 minutes straight. Sweet, now that we have everything here, I think I'm gonna weigh up about 1.2 grams. Sweet, so I'm gonna say that that's about the perfect amount that I need. When I made the original video, I used to roll my joints at like 0 0.7, 0 0.8, whereas now this is about my average size. So that's what I'm gonna be working with for here. And this was definitely the first thing that I changed after I made that video. Like probably like a month, two months after I made the video, I started rolling my joints about this size. So the old video was already obsolete just from this alone. <laughs> okay, so there's two key factors which makes a roll really, really good. And the first one which you need to keep in mind is the roach. Now I'm not 100% sure on the reason behind this. But what I've noticed is that whenever someone rolls a roach and they don't use the entire thing, the joint will always come out slightly worse than it would have if they used the whole thing. So I usually do about a W thing about that size and then I get this end here and I'm rolling it a little bit first so that way this end is a little bit tucked more than it should be. Then I'm rolling this in here. Wow. And then we have a W roach. I use the whole roach. I really, really recommend using the entire roach. It gives your joint so much more stability and it being about this size, if you have a W bit like that and then you use the whole thing and you roll it nice and tight, it will come out to that exact same size every single time without fail. If you ever see me on stream or in general re-rolling the roach, it's because it will come ever slightly looser. If it gets really loose before I actually roll the joint, I will always do that again. Sweet, damn, that is looking so nice. All right. I like to grind my bud up really nice and fine. If you really want your ash to come out looking like the same as mine does, um, then definitely try and grind up your bud super fine. The one thing I would say to keep in mind, especially if you're trying to grind your bud up super, super fine, is this is about as fine as you'll be able to make it before it starts giving you issues. I'm not sure if you've seen my Pure Keith joint video, but in that video, for like the first half of the joint, it like barely, barely tokes. And the reason is, is because there's no airflow. Because it's so fine, it doesn't actually have that airflow through it. Like stuff blocks up all of the airflow. So this is about as fine as you'll be able to make it before you start blocking the airflow. So do keep in mind, if you do have really, really dry bud, Maybe don't grind it up quite as much as I just did there. Sometimes just literally doing one, two, three will be enough to grind up your bud perfectly. But uh, yeah, sometimes, sometimes it's not. Right, we're about to go through the most important thing. So if you're really, really trying to learn here, then don't sleep on this bit, okay? So as I'm rolling this, the way to make a perfect joint every single time, regardless, is don't worry about how tight you're making the joint. Don't worry about what your hand's doing over here on this side of the joint, tucking that or anything. All you've got to focus on is making the roach tight and then making sure there's no creases throughout this whole paper. It doesn't matter how loose it is, even if it's loose as fuck, as long as there's no creases throughout the whole thing, that's where you're going right. So I'm just sort of making this into a nice tubular light shape on the inside. And I'm gonna push this roach in ever so slightly, but not all the way. Right, so as I'm rolling, I'm gonna put this down here. Some people fold this bit, some people tuck it. I kind of do halfway in between. But you see the only thing I'm focusing on here 
It's making sure that there ain't a crease. See, look, there was almost a crease there, and I buffed it out a little bit by going like that first before I'm doing anything, so sweet. There's no creases throughout this entire thing, not a single one. And I'm still holding that roach real tight, but then everything else, I'm just really, really lightly, really, really lightly putting it across so that way there's still not a single crease. So there's no creases whatsoever, and this bit's all nice and tight here, but this bit is all squidgy and, and not too nice. But honestly, it wouldn't matter. As long as your roach is super tight and there's not a single crease throughout all of this, this can be the loosest thing in the world right now, and you can still have it coming out amazing. Main thing, you've got to give it a tap, a proper, proper nice tap. All right, and then we feel it. Oh yeah, that feels real nice. So that's the main thing you've got to do here. You've got to feel that and make sure there's no air gaps, no air pockets, no nothing. It's all going up completely nice. Now people get freaked out when I do this, but as you can see, there's no bud in the very top part of this paper. So instead of getting a pokey, I prefer to put my, my fingers on here. Sometimes I give it a little wiggle like that to make sure it needs an extra, if it needs an extra bit of poking, but it doesn't need a wiggle this time. And I'm actually pushing this down with my fingers. Like instead of, instead of poking it, I'm just pushing it down like this. Oh, I'm just pushing it down like that, twisting it a bit. And sweet, so there you have it. We have a perfect joint every single time. No creases, no nothing. And <laughs> I think that's pretty good. Like that is exactly how my joints come out these days. And Everyone's been asking me to remake this video, so there you go. I guess we're gonna go back to the desk and show how it's uh, show how it's smoking. So that is how you roll the perfect joint. Now, the one thing I didn't mention is actually how you should light your joint because this is a real, real key factor. If you've watched streams, you probably already know this, but I hold my lighter to the end of my joint all the way until it actually starts sparking. Now, sometimes you get some bud which you do need to have a little pull on it first before it proper starts sparking on the top. But the main reason I do this is so that it doesn't sideburn or crack in any way. So if I hold this here, you can see on the ring on the very bottom, you can see there's not a crack which goes down, like it doesn't go below that black ring right now. And the idea is, once it's actually sparked and going, it still has that same solid ring around the bottom. Basically, I'm just trying to get this whole ring around it before I actually toke. If you get that whole ring around it before you actually take a toke, it's just never gonna sideburn, ever. So you see that? The ring is like one solid ring. Like, there isn't a crack down it, which I'm sure if you're smoking a joint right now and you didn't follow this or something, you could probably look at your ash and probably see a crack down it. <laughs> and that's what causes a sideburn. And honestly, sometimes I find when a joint cracks at like the top, it will just ruin the taste because you're getting like that extra airflow. It makes the joint taste kind of airy, like it's really strange. So if you wanna have a look at how it's smoking, how it's burning, it's smoking amazing. I don't even need to relight it now because like I said, I've got that solid ring around the top. I've even got a resin ring coming out and I've just sparked the joint. Mmm. If you guys have ever wondered how I get all these resin rings on the side of my joint like this, have you not noticed that in the time I've just held it upside down, the rings come out? I really hope somebody can tell me the science behind this in the comments, but for some reason, when you hold a joint downwards like this and the smoke comes up, a resin ring will build up around there. But if you hold your joint upwards like this, no resin ring will appear. Very, very strange. <laughs> so I'm not sure why that happens, but it's definitely a thing. So yeah, people keep on asking me, how the hell do you get a joint coming out looking like it does? That's how I get a joint coming out looking like it does. So yeah, thank you guys for being here. Make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down here as well. And also guys, like I said, make sure to check out the Twitch and the Discord link down below because the Discord is popping. The live streams are super sick every single night at 9 p.m. except I sometimes take Fridays off, so. Oh yeah, as well, if you follow this tutorial and it comes out amazing, put a picture of it in the Discord in the pictures of your nice bud section and I'm sure a lot of people will give you a lot of praise for it, so. <laughs> so yeah, peace people, I'll see you guys very soon. Also yeah, people, check out the song that that's the ending song of the video. Definitely check them out in the description down below. Why you always Peace. on the phone, I sell a toxic. Why you do the most when you really wanna stop this? Got the chop spot jumping, jumping like a mop. Know me so well, my bro. Do me a sell, I'll go. Put on the scales, I'll go. Put on the scales, you just don't open nails, yeah. Heads or tails, yeah. Set for sale, gonna go to for the love.